How's it going there folks? Nathan here with another update for Leap Chess. Um, there's been quite a few improvements since the last update video. The first one you'll probably notice is that we've actually got an environment around us now. We're not just sitting in the middle of some weird black nothingness. So we can look around we'll see that yeah, it's not really anything fancy. Just something better than yeah, nothing being there. Uh, second one you probably notice is the robot's arms aren't just awkwardly hanging in the air anymore, they're actually kind of resting. Which I think looks a lot more natural than how it was before, because I had a lot of comments thinking it was awkward, and I definitely agree with that. So, yeah, this is hopefully better. Third is New Hand. It, I think the robotiness of it kind of fits in with the rest of the thing, as well as, I think, just looking better in general than the other hand did. Um, fourth, what we see here, when we go to pick up pieces, it'll highlight them now, so this is mainly for the non-VR version. It makes it easier to tell what piece you're about to grab. Um, fifth is the options wheel, has had to change unfortunately. I know a lot of people like that, but user feedback from housemates that have played it have found it a bit awkward to use. Plus it's really easy to accidentally hit an option that you didn't want. So now, just bring your hand onto the board, it'll bring up the menu. Let's get out of VR mode for the rest of this. Let's make it easier. And yeah, you've actually got to touch what you want now. So hit credits. We'll come up the middle. You can change the difficulty now as well. And then resume. Right, another nice improvement is that when we pick up the pieces, they're not like just static in the same place. They'll actually rotate along with the hand. So I think that seems a bit more natural as well. And... Um, yeah, we've got some nice shadows going on here from the lights that you saw in the room before. So, I think that looks decent. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all the updates since then. Um, next we'll be putting in some sound and a tutorial level to basically explain how the game actually works. And once we've done that, it'll be ready for release. And yeah, catch you folks later.